You guys are never gonna believe what happened this week. I was contacted by this show called Right This Minute. It's a show that does like viral videos. I know in Fort Lauderdale and Miami it's shown on ABC, like Channel 10. But they contacted me and they asked me if they could do a feature on me for my head shaving video and just about like me shaving my head for coronavirus and working in the COVID ICU. I said, yeah, sure, use whatever videos you want. So they actually put it on and I have a link to the clip. If you guys wanna see it, I'll put it down below. And I was just really excited and my family was really touched by it. So I'll put the link in the description if you all wanna see it. And I'm just like so ecstatic about that. I thought that was really nice. And I really did enjoy the clip. I was kind of scared to watch it because I kind of like cringe when I watch myself because I feel like maybe I'm a cringy person or maybe I know, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, otherwise if you guys want to if you guys want to follow my journey uh, like subscribe comment Please let's get to 10k I have a video that I'm gonna release as like a celebratory like 10k video that I think you guys will really enjoy I recorded it before I left and I think you guys will like it. It's interesting All right, let's get started What's up everybody? It's Alyssa here. I just wanted to talk about where I am right now for my next nursing assignment, but let's play a quick game. Ready? I want you guys to guess the city that I'm in and just say it out loud at the same time that I do and just see if you're right. I mean, I think it's just a fun little thing that we can play together. All right? So just think of any city in the US and then on the count of three, we're both gonna say the city that I'm in out loud. Obviously you're guessing and then I know what city I'm in. It's any city in the US. All right, ready? One, two, three. Baltimore. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> were you right? Let me know in the comments. So I'm in Baltimore, Maryland. I was gonna go to DC, but then I was told that Mar Maryland, Baltimore needed more nurses. I have gotten a lot of comments like, oh no, you're gonna die in Maryland, you're gonna get killed. And yeah, I did look up that I think the statistic of like something happening to you is like one in 34, but I'm not too worried. I mean, I'm from Fort Lauderdale, Miami. I feel like there's crime over there and there's crime in New York, you know? I mean, I don't know. I think that either way, you just have to be smart. You have to be, you know, aware of your surroundings and don't do stupid stuff like go out in the middle of the night and walk alone down a dark alley. I'm staying in a pretty nice hotel that I'm really excited about. As you can see behind me, I actually have like a little kitchen or I have a couch, a living room. I have my own little bedroom. I'll show you guys. I'll, I'll bring you guys around for my little tour. I don't have a balcony this time, but that's okay because at least I have like this giant living space. It's kind of like scary to me because I don't really like being home alone that much. And when I was in the hotel, it was okay because it was small. But it's like at nighttime when it, like this whole when this whole apartment thing is like dark. I don't know. It's kind of creepy. It's like, is there somebody in the closet? I don't know. Maybe pull the shower curtain. You know, you, I, I know there's people out there just like me that you know you gotta look behind the shower curtain sometimes. You know, just to make sure. Just to make sure. Anyways, let me tell you guys my story about getting here. Okay, so I got in last night. But oh my gosh, all right, so first of all, my pilot, not that he's not allowed to, everybody has issues and extenuating circumstances, but my pilot called out sick. I didn't even know that was a thing. I just like figured like pilots can't get sick. I mean, not really, but I just figured, that, you know, like, I don't know. I just, I just figured it doesn't happen. And then the flight attendant was like, oh, well, we have another pilot, but uh, he has at least two hours to come in. So I suspect you guys aren't gonna be leaving for another two hours. So it's best to find another flight. Well, I had my first day of work today, so I had to, you know, get there yesterday so that I could come to work. I got, they gave us this customer service number. We all get on the phone. We all change our flights. And then they, start, they don't even announce overhead that the pilot's here and that they're gonna take off. They just announce, oh, boarding, flight, whatever, whatever, whatever. Like the flight that the pi original pilot had called off from. And like the flight was supposed to leave at like 10 a.m. and ended up leaving at 10.10. 10. Like the pilot got here like that, which props to that pilot. I literally went up to him at the end of the flight and I was like, thank you so much for coming. And not only for coming, but for like getting here fast because as a nurse, I know that at jobs that I've worked at, when you get called in, if somebody calls out, you have at least like an hour to get there. And I can't lie, sometimes they'll be like, hmm, I'm gonna get there right at 59 minutes, you know? <laughs> 
sometimes you're tired, sometimes you don't feel like it, so I get it. So I was really appreciative to that pilot because he got all of us to our connecting flights and all of us to where we were going. And I also got to keep my first class ticket. It was cool. Uh, except for I couldn't get any free liquor because... Which I probably didn't need it anyways because I'm already crazy. But <laughs> I couldn't get any free liquor or free drinks because they're not serving anything on the plane because coronavirus and you have to wear your mask. That was, that was one thing. And then the other thing that happened, which... <sighs> gosh, okay. <laughs> the other thing that happened was when I went to baggage claim to get my bags... You know, my, my giant bag, I, I really like, I made an effort to make sure that it wasn't overpacked. It was only like 42 pounds. It was really nothing, you know? Our bags start coming out and like people's bags are like bent, damaged. Like some lady's wheel was just like completely like inside her suitcase. Like as if like it got hit by a car or something. Like it was crazy. And my suitcase comes out and it's just completely open and all my stuff is just like all over the conveyor belt like my Reebok sandals and my stethoscope my tripod is falling out like all kinds of stuff it's all just falling out and I'm like what the heck so then I run over to my bag I start putting everything back in my suitcase and then I go to the like the baggage claim lady I'm like hey like and like this lady's like getting like swarmed by a bunch of people because like everybody's suitcases were damaged and I was like hey like my bag is just like completely open, my zipper is completely broken, and and the zippers were put to other parts of the bag. So like I had put my zippers up here, and then the, the zipper was broken right here, but I mean the zippers were like definitely like, because they don't just move very easily. The zippers were definitely like manually moved like from here to like there to up there, and the zipper was broken, so... I mean, since everybody's bags were broken, I was thinking like, I mean, this seems like a lot of carelessness, but I was thinking that, I don't know, maybe like all of our bags like got piled on too fast and they all like fell off the like the ramp to go up to the conveyor belt, like outside. I don't know, but I was pretty pissed because then they gave me this giant duffel bag to put all my stuff in because my suitcase was broken and they were like, oh, well, we'll fix your suitcase. Zippers can be fixed, but you have to bring it to a authorized dealer. And since there's no authorized dealers in the Baltimore city, you have to bring it back to the airport. And I was like, I'm not driving or paying another Uber 50 bucks to take me all the way to the airport because you guys broke my bag. I was like, you guys need to figure me out another solution. And normally like I'm pretty like nice in these situations and I was like really calm but I was just like fix it <laughs> so so they gave me this giant double bag that you can fit like 10 dead bodies in and it has no wheels on it so I'm dragging 40 pounds worth of crap through the airport this giant bag like it's huge I'll show it to you it's huge and I have my I have my my camera bag my backpack my rolling, my little rolling bag, and then I'm dragging this giant bag behind me, and I'm just like FaceTiming my boyfriend, like, oh my gosh, like, they, like, the lady offered to help, but then she got busy, and then they didn't have a cart for me, and the, all the other carts you have to pay for, I was like, this is the worst, I really like that suitcase, and I had just started using it, it was like the second time that I used that suitcase, one of my patients had actually bought it for me, my patient's family had bought it for me, because they were just like really thankful for like, the care that I was giving them and so they bought me this like awesome suitcase set and it was so nice of them and I just I don't know I kind of have an attachment to it it, it has sentimental value otherwise I had my first week of work today or my first day of work I, it was just orientation I'm gonna be doing night shift but I was just there for just an orientation of the hospital and of their computer system and just basically their expectations so that's really it I'm just been really busy just trying to get everything together. After I get everything together, I do want to make a video just kind of like replying to all your guys' comments. I think that would be really fun because I'm getting like a lot of questions that I would kind of just rather just answer just talking to you instead of... I mean, I'm going to type the questions probably to just type them out. I don't know. We'll see. Let me show you around this hotel. I'm really excited. It has a kitchen, so I'm actually going to make some tacos tonight. My boyfriend is going to go buy the same supplies for tacos that I have. And we're going to make tacos on FaceTime together <laughs> and eat dinner together. It'll be great. It has a washer and dryer here, so it's cool. I mean, not in the hotel, not in my room, but in the hotel. So I thought that was really cool. It's just kind of, I don't know, it's, it's not really, it doesn't feel like living in a hotel. It feels like living so and there's a really nice little market down the street so i was able to go get some good groceries so let me just show you real quick 
So over here, it's my desk. I have this nice couch, it pulls out. I really like the light fixtures here. They're all so weird. They all look like they came from the obscure section of Ikea. Look at this light. Whoa. There's my view. This building's really cool. It lights up rainbow at night. I don't know if it changes or if it's always rainbow for the month. I'm really excited to be in Baltimore. I'm excited to walk around and see things. I'm kind of busy this week, but see it has a stove, microwave, some of my little groceries. I put all the pots and pans and plates and stuff in the dishwasher and just washed them real quick just in case. It has a dishwasher, a little fridge. I gotta get more stuff. What else? My TV. People always make fun of me because they're like, wow, you really move in. Like, yeah, I do. I got to be comfortable, right? My view over here. The bed is comfortable. My little laundry bag. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the freaking duffel bag. It's huge. It doesn't look that big, but it's big. And it was so heavy. Like, you would think that for an extra few bucks, they could just throw some wheels on there so you, you could at least drag it with wheels. Like, that's crazy that they have this giant bag for people, anticipating that they're gonna have a lot of stuff to put in there, but not anticipating how they're gonna carry it. But whatever. My bathroom, shower, Check and make sure that no one's behind the curtain. Oh my gosh, I would have died if somebody was just behind there. Okay. And that's me. Hey y'all. And that's it. Oh my gosh. So you guys know that I was all upset because I had to give up my flowers since I was leaving New York. I just got called from the front desk again and they told me to come downstairs because I had some flowers. Well, they didn't tell me I had flowers. They told me I had a package. And I was like, I didn't order anything. And my boyfriend sent me these. Look how pretty they are. I literally have the greatest boyfriend ever. And he wrote me this. He said, I know you were heartbroken about the last flowers. I really was, I was so upset. And these are beautiful, I'm so happy. Oh my gosh, I really don't deserve him. He's so nice to me. They're beautiful. That's it, so if you guys wanna follow my journey in Baltimore, please like, subscribe, comment. If you live in Baltimore or have ever lived in Baltimore, Maryland, anywhere, and you guys have any ideas for things that I should do, please let me know because I have no idea. All right. Thanks guys, I will catch up with you guys later. And you are all awesome, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it, bye y'all.